engine dismantling, cylinder head removal, Remove the starter motor along with the battery earth cable. Loosen the spark plug. Loosening the spark plug once the cylinder head is removed from the engine may be difficult. This can also damage the cylinder head mating surface. Remove the cylinder head cover boards, rubber mount and the cylinder head cover. Remove the rubber gasket from the cylinder head cover. Remove the O-ring from the collar of the ASV gallery. Place the cylinder head cover on a soft surface. Remove the dowel pin and O-ring from the oil gallery in the camshaft holder. Remove the flywheel nut inspection hole cap and O-ring. Remove the timing inspection hole cap and O-ring. Now bring the piston to TDC in compression stroke by rotating the flywheel and aligning the T-mark on the flywheel with the index mark on the timing inspection hole. Always rotate the flywheel in the anti-clockwise direction. Ensure that the scribed lines on the cam sprocket are parallel to the cylinder head top surface with the O mark facing towards the exhaust side. Now, from the lifter assembly tensioner, remove the pan screw and the O ring. Always use impact drive to loosen the pan screw. Turn the tensioner shaft clockwise with the stopper tool to retract the tensioner and then insert the stopper tool fully to hold the tensioner in the fully retracted position. Do not over tighten the tensioner shaft of the lifter assembly tensioner. This may lead to damage to the tensioner shaft. Hold the flywheel nut and remove the cam sprocket bolts. Always ensure to relieve the cam chain tension before removing the cam sprocket bolts. Be careful not to drop the bolts into the cylinder during removal. Dislodge the cam sprocket from the cam shaft. Seat the cam sprocket on the cam chain tensioner and guide. Loosen the cam shaft stopper plate bolt. Now loosen the rocker arm shaft lock bolts. Loosening the camshaft stopper plate bolt and rocker arm shaft lock bolts once the camshaft holder is removed may be difficult. This can also damage the camshaft holder. Loosen the cylinder head side bolts on the cylinder head before removing the cylinder head special nuts. Loosening the cylinder head special nuts without loosening the side bolts would lead to warpage or damage to the cylinder head mating surface. Loosen the camshaft holder special nuts in a criss-cross pattern and then remove the special nuts and washers. Remove the camshaft holder from the cylinder head and place it on a soft surface. 
remove the side bolts from the cylinder head. Now remove the cylinder head and place it sideways on a soft surface. Engine dismantling, cylinder and piston removal. Remove the cam sprocket, hold the cam chain and then remove the cylinder head gasket. Ensure to hold the cam chain and prevent it from falling into the left crankcase cover or else this may lead to lock the crankshaft from rotating. Remove dowel pins. Remove cam chain guide. Hold the cam chain and then remove the cylinder. Always ensure that the connecting rod does not fall freely on the crankcase while removing the cylinder. Place the cylinder on a soft surface sideways. Always place the cylinder on a soft surface, resting sideways to avoid damage to the liner. Ensure that the cam chain does not fall into the left crankcase. Place a shop towel under the piston covering the crankcase open end. Always place a shop towel to prevent the piston pin clip from falling inside the crankcase. Now using a circlip extractor, remove the piston pin clip. Push the piston pin from the opposite side and remove the piston. Use a suitable shaft with blunt end for sliding out the piston pin to avoid scoring of piston pin boss. Always place the piston upside down to avoid damage on the skirt edge. Remove dowel pins 